Singapore Civic District is set to come alight in a visual spectacle from this Friday. The Light Tonight Festival returns for its sixth edition, bringing with it augmented reality and digital art, as well as multi-sensory installations. Now, festival goers will be able to soak it all in, in person or online. And for more on this festival, we are joined by Sue Ann Megan Tan, the festival director of the Light Tonight Festival, and local artist Zhu Ni Yen. Well, hello. Welcome to the show. We'll uh, probably kick things off with you first, Sue Anne. You know, the theme this year is new ways of seeing, thinking and be being. And uh, how will that be presented during this festival? Well, the Light Tonight Festival this year offers an expanded program lineup. There will be over 60 day and night experiences across 10 locations around the Civic District and beyond. And with a larger festival footprint, we've also extended the festival duration to three weeks to allow more people to enjoy the online and offline programs in this digital edition. As we know, the pandemic has certainly brought uh, tech offerings to the forefront. And in line with this trajectory, we are presenting Visions, an ambitious outdoor augmented reality art exhibition in collaboration with Acute Art, a leading augmented reality art production studio. And the exhibition features a new commission by Zunian titled Language. We're extremely proud to share that Zunian will be the first Singaporean artist to join Acute Arts roster of international artists. And his work will be one of 11 augmented reality artworks that visitors may activate by scanning special bollards along the gallery's Padang entrance. And there would be also other international artists' um, works such as Tao Fei, Oliver Eliasson, Kors, and many more. And so we're ex really excited to share that we're extending the festival's footprint this year with three new program collaborators. And they are the National Library Board, Capital Singapore and Funan. And as I mentioned, the festival has joined hands with National Library Board to present an, a special showcase, which is called Curiosity, Places and Perspectives. And that takes place um, with multiple satellite installations around the Civic District as well as the showcase at the National Library building. And I also mentioned that Capital uh, Singapore will be a new stop in the Heritage Tour that presents familiar icons through new lenses. And while Funan is housing a new art-activated tunnel at, at its newly opened underground pedestrian link, which features multimedia artwork by local artists Dave Lin and Ada Ng. So visitors can look forward to Many, many festival favourites, um, such as the art skins on monuments with new multimedia works and immersive light projections that can be enjoyed both indoors and outdoors. So there's a lot to look forward to. And I think with so much going on, the festival microsite, like Tonight SG, serves as a one-stop portal that you can use to plan festival visits. Nguyen, uh, bringing you into the conversation now, you're going to present an outdoor augmented reality exhibition, we understand, called Language. And the synopsis says that it's going to highlight the multi-layered nature of history through this interplay of projected anime and virtual reality. That's quite a lot to think about. What can visitors expect of that? And how was all of this conceptualized? Sure. Thank you for the question. Uh, well... I think uh, what visitors will be able to see will be uh, a robot that is uh, floating in mid-air and it's a warlike robot, a robot that's uh, about to go to war. And on the other side, they will see a political prisoner. And both of these characters are actually based on uh, real-life uh, Japanese uh, philosophers who lived through the 1940s. So uh, both of these characters were devised um, to represent these two very opposing uh, political views uh, with regards to uh, Japanese, uh, the Japanese uh, aggression during the Second World War. Um, also, let's just touch on the uh, augmented reality um, part of this all. Um, how does it lend itself to such an installation and enhance you know, the visitor's experience? Sure. Yeah, I think uh, what's really interesting with augmented reality is that um, the object that you are looking at simultaneously exists and doesn't exist at the same time. So if you look through the phone you will be able, or, or mobile device, you will be able to see the object 
but at the same time, the object doesn't exist in your actual space. So this immediately makes it already an interesting device to explore um, the multi-layered nature of reality, to see that there are you know, other narratives and other realities that coexist uh, with us at the same time and space. There's so much to look forward to. Uh, so when this festival also brings uh, an important message about celebrating inclusivity and diversity as well. Tell us how Light Tonight is being used as a platform to push that message on a larger scale. Yes, in the past year, we've seen how art and culture can offer one of the most positive ways of engaging with complexity and uncertainty in these difficult times. And we're so inspired by how artists, through their art, respond to changes in our world during these trying times, compelling us to look and reflect at our own relationship to the world around us differently. And one collaboration that I can point out is that, uh, you know, this time we're featuring a disability-led project titled Move Forward. This collaboration, which is the brainchild of artists Claire Teo and Kira Lin with Unseen Art Initiatives, takes the form of a multi-sensory installation which questions our perceptions and assumptions around disability and in spotlighting the diverse perspectives and voices of individuals from the visually impaired community, the festival provides a platform for this community to share their experiences with others in the hope that we may find meaningful ways in which we can all help to create a more inclusive society. So this is um, definitely an installation to look forward to. Oh, a festival that I definitely look forward to. Thanks very much, uh, Su Entan, Festival Director of the Light Tonight Festival and our local artist, Ho Zunian. Light Tonight starts this Friday and will last for three weeks.